This is Safe at Home Week on CBS2, and let's introduce you to this week's expert, Cher Casenza. She's a model, an actress, a private eye. Cher Casenza is your modern day Jill of all trades. We got guns with us. As she walks the red carpet, the security company she owns may also be the team hired to protect guests at the very same event. I bring a lot of different talents to this business. Spending half her time under the radar and the other half in the limelight is what makes her savvy about personal safety. And Cher Casenza is here now. Thanks for being here. Today we're talking guns. Yeah, thank you for having me. You're quite welcome. Now, guns, certainly a hot topic around the country and certainly here locally with the San Bernardino shootings. For the potential home or gun buyer, there are three things you say they should know, beginning with purpose. Right, there has to be a purpose for every firearm. And I have to stress this at the beginning, it's not for everyone. You need to know that you can actually use this firearm and not just have it. You have to be trained on it, that's first and foremost. But then, when you get into purpose, there's three different ways that I like to break it down. You could either have home defense, you could have self-defense, or you could have range. So there's different guns for different things that you want to do. Okay. And you want to be comfortable. You have comfort. to be comfortable with it. It's like wearing a pair of shoes. If you buy them and you're not comfortable with them, you're just not going to use them. So for comfort on guns, what you need to do is go to a licensed gun dealer. You need to put the gun in your hand. You have to hold that gun. Everybody's different. Man, woman, our hands, the weight of the guns are different. The okay. sights on the guns are different. So you really need to get comfortable with this before you make your purchase. Now, before we, we go into that, we could talk about preferences by showing some pictures of uh, some of the guns that you were talking about. Absolutely. We have revolvers and semi-automatics. If we can mm -hmm. get that graphic up, well, while we're waiting for that to come up, sure. can you talk about that, though, yeah, a bit? Yeah, absolutely. Like, for myself, I have two go-to guns. I have a double-action revolver, and I have a semi-automatic. Both of those guns are great. There's different types that you can get. Oh, here we go. Okay. So you have this one, which is obviously these two at the top are heavier guns. These are our revolvers over here. These oh, are semi-automatics yeah. over here. Okay, the 9 so millimeter. That's here. correct. You have the 9 millimeter, and you have a 32 over here. And here you have a double-action 6-inch uh, revolver, and you have a snub-nosed 2-inch revolver. The idea is, is that for the bigger ones, you're going to actually have less recoil, and those will be great for home protection and for range shooting. For the smaller ones, you probably will use those more for self-defense, and those would be great if you can get a concealed weapon permit, and then you could use those to carry with okay, you. Okay, so a, a petite woman, for example, shouldn't be afraid of buying a larger gun. Absolutely not. In okay. fact, I always recommend to people that they might want to start with the bigger ones. It's not about that. It's about comfort, and you could actually get a better feel for your gun and learn how to shoot it better if you're using something larger. The smaller ones are not really ideal for learning how to shoot and getting comfortable. Okay, and I guess you can go to a range and get that first, right? We always stress right. learning how to shoot. Okay, so once the potential gun buyer gets the gun, then you have to have a safe place to store it, right? Of course. So, so you, got, you brought a number of safes with you today. Right. We have a couple of safes here, and there's a bunch of them out on the market, but I like to start with these. I think these are great, and depending upon where you're going to have the gun in your house, mm -hmm. these are wonderful because these actually could go in several different locations of your home. Okay. So once you get the gun, you have to obviously take the responsibility to store it properly. So this one here is the biometric safe. It's actually a fingerprint safe. It also has a backup keypad in case something happens and that doesn't work for you. Mm -hmm. This one right here is your electronic safe. All right. So that one works like that, and this is the mechanical safe. This is the one where you have to turn the knob. That's correct. Okay. You turn the knob. And actually, in each of these safes, specifically this one, I happen to like because you can bolt it down to the ground or you can bolt it into a corner of a wall, into a closet, somewhere. So okay. this way, you really could keep it out of hands of people. Well, great. Now, we want to give thanks to the folks at Dean Safe for bringing these safes for us to look at today. And, Cher, you're going to be with us all week. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about home security systems and alarms. Correct. Alarms, cameras, and those cameras come in all sizes, so you never know who's watching you. All right. Well, we'll <laughs> delve into that tomorrow. Great. Thanks, Cher. Thanks. Paul, back to you.